Stradivarius. Four runners jump out. Stradivarius jumps so alert that he goes to the lead, but I think Sylvester de Souza is going to press on with DXB, and Il Paradiso, in receipt of this weight, is also going to press on. The pace is not a frenetic one by any means. The two just eyeballing each other slightly. And DXB and Sylvester de Souza just checks exactly how far Frankie de Torre is behind on Stradivarius. The answer is about four or five lengths. So this big, long, striding horse. He looks a bit ungainly at his slower paces, but he's very effective, DXB. He's been banging his head against the Stradivarius wall last couple of starts and this time he is going to go forward and try and take him on from the front. He leads from Il Paradiso in second place and three lengths back in third then to Stradivarius. At the back of the field is Falcon 8, the Irish Raider for Dermot Weld who won this a few years ago with Pau Mimosa. So DXB out on the front end as they begin this steady turn will carry them towards the back straight and are now entering the final mile and five for the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup. DXB at no more than an even gallop leading in second place Il Paradiso, Stradivarius has closed up slightly in third as they now enter the back straight and are inside the final mile and a half with Falcon 8 in fourth place. So now just about a length and a half between each of the runners settling into a rhythm and DXB heads towards the mile and three leading by just over a length or so from Il Paradiso in second, Stradivarius in third place and still at the back of the field is Falcon 8. So now making their journey towards this little left hand bend make their way inside the final mile and a quarter. DXB Nistin trying to be striding on a little bit now from Il Paradiso, Stradivarius, an old pro in these days, settling in third place, black colours with the yellow cap, and still in fourth is Falcon 8 as they swing left-handed, make their way past the nine furlong point, and now they have this sort of full straight that will bring them gradually towards the turn for home. So DXB out on the front end. It's got into a nice rhythm. Is flicking around in front, leading from Il Paradiso. Stradivarius still in third. No change in the play with Falcon 8, the Misty Sandown winner last time in fourth place. Now you can see Sylvester de just asking DXB for a little bit more, just trying to stretch Stradivarius and uh, just make it hurt a little bit more than it has done in recent starts for him as DXB out in front from in second place, still Il Paradiso. Frankie unflustered in third on Stradivarius, who every now and again can hit his own flat spot, delivers where it matters fourth place is Falcon 8. So continue to make their journey back towards home. DXB just trying to get a bit of track position here as they make the bend but hasn't shaken off Il Paradiso or any of the others actually. Stradivarius and Falcon 8. The order is very much as you were. So now heads a turn for home and now Sylvester de Souza asks DXB to extend. Making the best of his way home now in the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup. In second, Il Paradiso, Stradivarius just being gathered together by Frankie de Torre. But DXB is labouring slightly to hold off Il Paradiso. He does find a lot for pressure. But at the moment, Stradivarius poised in behind, slipstreaming a catch with his eye on the prey as they make their way with two furlongs to travel. Frankie de Torre switches to the left-hand side, since his Il Paradiso might be the greater danger than DXB, and now Stradivarius is put into the race. The three-year-old running really well. Il Paradiso, Stradivarius, a single tap to keep his mind on the job. DXB is battling on, but again, it looks like being in vain. Stradivarius not doing a great deal in front. He doesn't have to. It's another big payday. A second million pound bonus for the money machine that is Stradivarius. DXB rallied well with Il Paradiso to make it tight for second, and Falcon 8 never passed a horse, last of four.